Justice Gorsuch? Justice Kavanaugh? Just reading Gray uh, itself and staying within Gray, its concern seems to be the obvious blanks or indication of redaction, and that's it on pages 196 and 197 of Gray. Why isn't that the best way to read Gray? I, I would grant Justice Kavanaugh that in Gray itself, what I think the court ultimately said is that where a redaction is apparent on the face of the confession, it is essentially categorically likely that the jury would draw the inference that the confession implicated the non-confessing defendant. And the court, I think, recognized that that would often and ordinarily be the case, but that it might not always be the case. And so that's why I think that the fundamental teaching of Gray is that it's really that latter inquiry that is the fundamental inquiry. How likely is it that the jury is going to draw that inference? And Justice Kavanaugh, I know a question you're always fond of asking at oral argument is, you know, what adjective do you want to use in the opinion? Is it likely? Is it, you know, does it have to be a strong or obvious inference? And I think what I would say to you is that on the facts of this case, that doesn't really matter. And lower courts have used different adjectives as to how strong that inference needs to be. But in a case like this where you have a lengthy confession with the repeated references to the other person, the prosecution's use of the confession, the fact that there was only one defendant it could possibly be, and then critically, the introduction of this trial evidence that linked Petitioner to the other details in the confession, that this is a circumstance in which it is as near obvious as it could be in the absence of a facially apparent redaction. But, but isn't this an extension of Gray? In other words, Gray is trying to keep itself consistent with Richardson, as Justice Kagan was raising uh, about Richardson. And so Gray is trying to stay within Richardson, but says, well, here's one little aspect of uh, how this confession worked that's problematic and had a blank in it. And so long, and then it proposes an alternative that doesn't have the blanks and refers to the few other guys. And that's kind of all Gray says, I think. But I, I, I mean, so I, 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 I take I, your point that we could go further, but I'm not sure Gray itself gets you there. Well, I, I think my point is simply that the reasoning of Gray, I think, more strongly supports our approach than the government's approach. And I would recognize that this is a fact pattern that falls somewhere between Gray and Richardson. Mm -hmm. But I would submit for the reasons that I gave in my last answer that this is much closer to Gray than Richardson. And I think that this court can trust lower courts to police that because there's no sign of difficulty, again, in a majority of the courts of appeals to have considered this issue. Some form of the rule that we are advocating has been adopted. Well, we have and an amicus brief from a lot of states, a uh, real cross-section of states, saying this would be a, a huge problem. I mean, maybe in the federal courts, some of the federal courts of appeals have adjusted, but they're saying in the states that this could be a real problem. I have no doubt that prosecutors would much prefer to have a rule that permits the use of confessions in precisely the manner that they were used here. But notably, as we point out in our reply brief, we point to at least three states that signed that amicus brief where the contextual approach that we are advocating has been applied. You would expect them or the United States to point to some difficulty in administration. But quite to the contrary, courts have applied this approach. They have applied it overwhelmingly in the in limine context when they are considering the issue of um, suppression together with the issue of severance. And again, they've had no difficulty doing it. The government has often prevailed. And there will be cases in which there is harmless error uh, right. after the okay. fact. Thank you.